So we talked about the fact that the kidney has these two arms, the one that responds to volume and the one that responds to concentration. So now I want to ask you a question, which is, which one do you think is more important? Which one of these does the kidney need to respond to more quickly and more sensitively? The answer is concentration. And there are a couple of reasons why you might think that would be the case, and I'll give one argument. And that is that the body is basically just a combination of many, many different chemical reactions. Those reactions include metabolic reactions, reactions to make protein, reaction to make DNA. And what matters for reactions is not how much volume you have, but what concentration of stuff you have. So if you're a chemist in the chemistry lab, it doesn't matter how big your flask is. It doesn't matter if you have a big one or a little one. What matters is that the concentration of stuff in the flask is at the appropriate level. So that's a kind of argument for why concentration is more important. And you can see that the body cares more about concentration because we can actually notice that the kidney reacts to very, very tiny changes in concentration, but only to larger changes in volume. So actually something as little as a 1% change in your sodium concentration in your blood can cause a noticeable reaction by the kidney. Whereas a 1% change in your volume, in your extracellular volume, would not cause that change. You might think, for example, about a wrestler or a boxer who is preparing to make weight. A lot of times they'll try to lose water volume, as they call it. And what that means is they're losing extracellular volume. So before the weigh-in, you might see their volume go down so that their weight decreases and they're okay. But if you were to look at their sodium concentration during that time, what you'd find is that it's actually remarkably constant. And that's because the body is very careful to regulate concentration, but less careful to regulate extracellular volume. So throughout your life, over the months, over the weeks, your volume can change, your water weight can go up and down, but the actual concentration of sodium in your blood barely changes from day to day, from week to week.